Assalamu alaikum this is Dr Hasna with Hasna's Anatomy and today we're going to be discussing the conducting system of the heart so what is the conducting system of the heart well the heart is kept in the body and there is no guarantee that it'll just start beating by itself it needs an impulse to initiate its beating process and that impulse needs to travel in the entire heart in the ventricle walls in the atrial walls entirely so that the heart is constantly contracting there is a trigger or there is an impulse that is causing the heart to contract so what is that system that causes this entire impulse generation that is allowing the heart to contract that is your conducting system the conducting system lies in the myocardium of the heart and what is the myocardium the concept of myocardium is that the heart tissue or the heart muscle consists of three layers of tissue the outer layer is known as the epicardium which is also if you remember the visceral layer of the serous membrane and then we have a layer that is consisting of your muscle fibers this layer of the heart is the muscular layer of the heart known as the myocardium and finally there is the inside layer called the endocardium today we're going to talk about the myocardium as the conducting system is lying inside the myocardium and is responsible for initiating and conducting the cardiac impulse what initiates the cardiac impulse the first part of your conducting system which i'm sure you are quite familiar with is the sinoatrial or sa node it is important to know the location of this node it lies as i mentioned before that it lies in the upper part of the sulcus terminalis of the right atrium so that is exactly where the sa node lies this is where the impulse begins now somehow this impulse has to travel so that it can reach the entire heart so that the entire heart can contract altogether so it obviously has to take a route that has to enter the ventricles so this is the route it takes through the interventricular septum so it can reach the wall of the ventricles as well so the sa node is going to be responsible for initiating the signal at a rate of 70 to 100 beats per minute next the impulse will travel to the av node the name says it the atrioventricular node it is located at the atrioventricular orifice and it is mostly located in the interatrial septum just above the coronary sinus so as i mentioned this was the coronary sinus just above is, is your location of av node in the interatrial septum so the impulse has reached the av node where the conductive speed is 40 to 60 beats per minute by this time the entire signal has caused the atria to contract now we have to somehow get to the ventricle so then the impulse will travel through your interventricular septum and as i already mentioned the interventricular septum has an upper thin membranous part and then the lower thick muscular part the impulse after this you cannot see the membranous part but it travels through your membranous part of your interventricular septum as the bundle of his so from the av node begins the third part of your conducting system known as bundle of his the other name of this bundle is the av bundle the av bundle from the av node starts and goes into the thin membranous part of your interventricular septum when it reaches the upper muscular part of your interventricular septum it divides into two branches the two branches are the right av bundle branch or the right bundle branch and the left bundle branch the left bundle branch now suppose you can say this is the upper muscular part here is where the impulse is received what happens next is that it divides into the right and left bundle branches to supply your right and left ventricles the left bundle branch will go towards the left and enter your wall of the ventricle and cause its contraction and your right av bundle branch will reach the right ventricular wall but most of the right 
bundle branches fibers will travel in the moderator band. The moderator band is the band that is starting from the interventricular septum and goes to the anterior wall of the right atrium to enter the anterior papillary muscle. We have studied this before. This is the anterior papillary muscle. So the moderator band is basically a band of tissue that travels from interventricular septum all the way to the anterior papillary muscle in the anterior wall. This carries your right AV bundle branch and supplies fibers to it so that this also the valve can contract. Apart from this other branches will go all the way to your right ventricular wall and the left sided will go to the left ventricular wall. These bundle branches will, will finally become the Purkinje fibers and will cause the contraction of your heart in the ventricles. So these are the Purkinje fibers that come out from the bundle branches on both sides in the walls of the ventricles. So that was all about your conducting system. Any abnormality in the conducting system of the heart can lead to arrhythmias. So that's it for today. Really hope you understood the lecture. Thank you so much for watching.